it was a clean sheet at you know, the top of his wish list today, do you think? For me, I mean, I was first of all, I always question Mark Pepe's defensive uh, uh, play at the back, but for me, Verani and, and, and Ramos are the best two defenders. But uh, uh, they tend to have a mistake in MWS, but Pepe, you saw the, uh, the second goal with Toro scored, and the first goal was from Ramos. Uh, they're quality players, but uh, they tend to uh, lack of concentration, if you want to call it, and, and give you a chance. So. Uh, hopefully, they can, if they can, can get a clean sheet, Madrid always have the ability and the quality to, to create goals and score goals. Absolutely, they're uh, scoring for fun at the other end. 59 so far in the league, that's 15 more than Barcelona. Mm -hmm. Ronaldo, 26 in the league, but only one in his last three appearances. He's about due, isn't he? I think they just <laughs> to sub him or put him on the bench to get him there. It's just, <laughs> but this, this is normal. Um, there's been a lot of pressure on Ronaldo and he, he takes it on his shoulder. And, it takes a responsibility, but the other team, the other players are going to step up as well. Um, they've been winning in most of those games. Yes, he hasn't scored, but I'm sure he'll, he'll, uh, he'll be back in the score sheet. But um, for me, it's more important than the team do well. And, 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 and uh, once Ramos have stopped playing well again, Ronaldo will, will get his goals again. OK, well, Hetafe make nine changes to the side that knocked out Tal Maria in the Copa del Rey in midweek, with just two changes to the 11 that played in their last league game against Eibar. This is new manager Kike Sanchez Flores' second league game in charge. Two changes for Real Madrid. Uh, in come Casillas and Rafael Varane. Out go Navas and Pepe, who has bruised ribs from that Copper game. Do you expect Ancelotti to field his strongest side possible in the next few games? He hasn't got the distraction now of the Copper. Definitely. It's getting back into that momentum. I mean, once you lose a game, you just can't wait to get back to the next one and, and, and putting things right. Um, that's why I said about the form. I don't think they were they're going through. Well, they're playing that bad because they're still scoring goals. Yes, they came stuck against Atletico Madrid in Valencia, but these are normal things that are going to happen during the season. You go through a little blip, and it's just make sure you get back as quick as possible, and they have the opportunity to do that today. How about Hatafe then? They haven't won in the last eight games. How big is this task ahead for Kike Sanchez for us to turn things yeah. around? Um, it's it's got to be tough for Kike for us because he's obviously he's a former Real Madrid. Uh, this is the last game you need at the moment when you, once you're going through a, uh, a difficult period. Is they just got to, well, first of all, believe they can get something from this game. Take what, uh, what happened to Atletico Madrid and hopefully uh, expect Mal Madrid to have a bad day. But there's so many things that's going to go in their favour too to get a result. Um, clean sheet and, and then see if they can get Nick, Nick a goal. OK, well, Real looking to extend their lead at the top of the league to four points. Let's join Jerry Armstrong and Rob Palmer. Well, it's a bleak winter's morning meets this Madrid derby. Two sides came out. Believe it or not, we actually saw snowflakes coming in from the mountains. Uh, just on the outskirts of the capital. Taffy, uh, just above the relegation zone against Real Madrid. They've played a game less than most of the other big sides at the top of the table. Lead the league by a point. And in these wintry conditions, the job today is to tie up what they call in Spain the Winter Championship. Yeah, that's a halfway mark, and it's a good contest this season. It's good to see three clubs who look like they could all win the championship. I feel that Real Madrid still have a lot to do. They've got a fantastic squad, they've got great ability, but they've sort of started a little bit sluggish after the, the Christmas break, Rob. You now we see very strong Real Madrid lineup. This lunchtime, Casillas and Varane come back in from the Copa del Rey. Just two changes, Navas alternating goal, of course. He's the cup keeper. And Pepe has bruised ribs, so he is rested. Rafael Varane is chosen by Ancelotti in the centre of defence. Real Madrid have just uh, hit a bit of a bumpy road at the moment. One win in the last four games, as you, I'm sure, noticed. They're out of the Copa del Rey. In midweek and that long run of 22 wins in a row came to an end in their last away game in la liga against valencia this is generally a fixture that they win home and away they've won 10 of the last 11 against yeah. hetafe you would fancy them rob but as i say they've been a little bit lackluster and you know derby matches you can't take anything for granted and pedro leon is a key player who's back in the ranks of hetafe after the transfer row has been sorted out it's a second league start and an ex-real madrid player will want to prove a point as the referee 
awards a free kick for the foul there, Rafael Varane. He's catching the sole striker, who is Alvaro Velázquez, who had a rather unsuccessful spell at uh, Swansea City. Where's number nine? Didn't score a goal for Swansea in his 18 appearances, but he's back in Spanish football and he's their leading scorer with four goals. Gives you an idea of the, the problems they're having this season. Yeah, but Vasquez, he scored two in the league and two in the cup. <laughs> you know, they're not prolific goal scorers. That's one of their problems. Only five goals at home in the league this season. And they're attacking Real Madrid from the start. It's Cristiano Ronaldo back on defensive duty. Here is Isco. Certainly not a day for standing around. Tapia tried to cash in. They've uh, doubled the prices for this game to see the uh, European champions. In this humble little ground, it's going to cost you between 60 and 100 euros. That's an expensive day out for a Madrid or Real Madrid fan. The home side has started pretty well the first three minutes. Real Madrid on the back foot. There's Sarabia, Samia, the Croatian international, Brazilian born. There's quite a, a collection of players that Kiko Sanchez Forrest has at his disposal, his second spell at the club, of course. Made his name here initially ten years ago before heading off for bigger jobs. Yeah, he was the first real manager in the, the league when they came up the first time and he did pretty well, didn't he? To their highest ever finish and uh, into European competition as well. well. That's a foul on Tony Cruz from Castro. Kike Sanchez Flores, of course, was a former Real Madrid player. He's there for a, a couple of years in the, the mid 90s. And they do have quite a connection with the Bernabeu. The goalkeeper Cadena was there. Juan Rodriguez had a, a trial out. Pedro Leon is a former Real Madrid player as well. I'd say he was technically their best player to Pedro Leon now. There's a break on. This is Samir. Alvaro Velaquez. That was a spare at the mid post, but it's a poor cross of Velaquez and easily cut out by Ramos. Bit of a nudge there. It's a soft one, isn't it? Tony Cross is looking for it. There's his cap. Looking for Benzema. Has it scored a league goal carrying Benzema since back in November? Marcelo. Well, it's a modern little stadium. Visited here, I likened it maybe to uh, one of those new towns, maybe Milton Keynes. And they have struggled to get the attendances here. They average around 7,000. In fact, only A bar have a, a smaller average than Hetafe. Well, I think Carvajal has caught him just with the, his arm. And Sarabia. He was a little bit late in giving the free kick, but I think it was definitely a free kick. Senor Perez Montero. Well, Kike Sanchez Flores is back. He headed off to Al Ali, won the cup twice. El Alien won the league with him. Warmer conditions to deal with in the Middle East. It's cold here today in Madrid, isn't it? Alexis heading it long. Cruz. Ramos. Ram in for Pepe today, the French international. Carvajal restored at right back. Arbelo has been deputising for him in the last couple of weeks. Was it still without Luka Modric? Initially, they said it'd be about two months, and he's in the middle of that recovery period at the moment. 
It's good when you've got a player like that, you know, coming back soon. For the busy time of the season, you know, once you're into February and they don't have the Copa del Rey to worry about now after being knocked out, but the Champions League is coming soon, Rob. And they've got that game in hand still to play against uh, Sevilla, which is due, I think it's the fourth Wednesday, the fourth of February. Here's Marcelo. This is their 33rd game of the season, Roman Rip played more than anybody else, of course, with the FIFA World Club Championship. Marcelo, that's a poor cross. Played by Naldo. Ramos. Pass from Cruz. Still trying to wake up, aren't they, Real Madrid? They're a little bit sluggish. This is the accelerator, though, from Rafael Varane. That's what I said, Rob, they've been a bit lacklustre for me after the Christmas period. Just look at this pass from Marcelo. Well, that's the one that was blocked, but the other one was a poor one. Sometimes the big teams do struggle to get into their routine for such an early kickoff. I do remember Sir Alex Ferguson moaning to us one year that his players were having steak for breakfast because of an early Manchester United kickoff. He blamed the TV companies, but it was actually <laughs> Greater Manchester Police who <laughs> reschedule the game. Shied away from telling him that. Well, initially good touch from Isco, but too many touches for me. Trying to get too long on the ball, he's been dispossessed a couple of times. Technically, he's a fantastic player, Isco, and so is this man, James Rodriguez, another very good player. Well, the young man whose goal was voted the best of the World Cup finals last summer. Good goal against Portugal, wasn't it? Yeah, he only just beat Michel Roach, didn't he? In the second place. Got 44% of the votes. And of course it was a landslide for Cristiano Ronaldo, the newly crowned World Player of the Year. But he didn't get the Northern Irish vote. <laughs> Gone, who got that? Well, they did vote for him, but it, it went in too late, so it wasn't registered. That's the way you tell him. Samir Velázquez to Roberto Lago. Well, you can see they may play on a tight budget, and it's a collection of loans and free transfers but they're attempting to play football they're under pressure here from Benzema takes a deflection and he's going to get there and it's good defending from Alexis well Alexis who wanted it more than James that was the problem that was a 50-50 and we know what Alexis is like he's totally committed normally a centre half he's playing right back today good there football. is Sammy, excellent football better defending for Carvajal. If there is a player in the Real Madrid squad who's built for a game like this, it is Danny Carvajal, the tigerish little right fullback. I just think when you've got a midday kickoff in a Madrid derby, you've got to have the right attitude. That's a great ball. It is. Well back flick from Cristiano Ronaldo. Marcelo into it quickly. Fires it at Benzema, back to Marcelo, the Brazilian left back leads the charge! It's a rare shot with his right foot and it was an absolute flyer. Well, he's got a player on the outside, Gareth Bale, he didn't complain about it. I know there's been a lot of people complaining about him not passing the ball, but I thought Marcelo should have put this on to Gareth Bale. He's gone for the shot, doesn't hit the target. Under a bit of pressure, I'll say. It's gone Rob and they're still only playing at 50% for me, Real Madrid. So far it has been a Sunday morning stroll in the park for them, hasn't it? Gonna have to up their game. The Taffy are a team who've kept things tight when they have won their games this season. They've only won four of the 18 they've played, they've all been by a single goal. But they're in a bad run of league form at the moment. They haven't won in their last eight. And there's Ronaldo, but it's Pedro Leon. They've actually only won two games at home, Rob, and they've only scored five goals at home in the league, which is 
a massive problem, I think, and it's one that Kiki Sanchez Flores has got to sort out. Always hands are tied financially as well because they club uh, do have problems. They were hoping to offload Michel to uh, China. The ball's played over the top, Alvaro's offside. A tight one, isn't it, it? may have been his oh right glove that was in an offside position. Yeah. Was incredibly tight. Officials have got to be right on the ball all the time. There's so many tight decisions now. Maybe a bit of empathy from the Premier League officials for getting him offside. Not entirely correct. Benzema, Hamis, Ronaldo, Benzema. Fluid football from Real Madrid. Falls down as Alexis yeah, but intercepts. Rob, Benzema's trying to clever back heel a blind one when he's got a couple of other options on and I think they're not playing the percentages at the moment for me Real Madrid it's still getting out of their slumber to, to be honest well, nobody has prevented Real Madrid scoring this season they in all competitions are on 95 goals this season well I've already told you that Getafe have scored five goals at home this season. I told you that Real Madrid scored 32 goals away from home in the league this season. I think it puts it in the... I think you can see context. where the odds are going to be stacked today. Yeah, but they're still not playing well for me at the moment. Real Madrid really need to lift the game. Alvaro, and uh, Alvaro plays it back to Ike Casillas. as his play from it is so tight you could be right it could be his arm his right arms offside and for his assistant erring on the side of caution well the, the officials usually do and, and you can understand that bent him up and is now Marcella Hamez with lots of workspace here it's a great cross Needed the touch from Largo. That's quality. That is a fantastic ball. Have a look at this. James Rodriguez gets a bit of space and he puts it in the space between the goalkeeper and the defenders. And Gareth Bale was coming in at the far post. Excellent defending, I have to say, from Lago, Roberto Lago at the far post. Tony Cruz with the corner. Ronaldo heads it, and Codina comes and makes a comfortable catch. Ronaldo's up early, and he's the one that wins it. There he is, Kike. Nice little experienced manager, he headed off from Hetafi. A spell at Benfica, finished third in the Portuguese league, and then was one of the many managers to try to uh, emulate Rafa Benitez at Valencia. Did he start his coaching career across the town at Real Madrid? He was uh, one of the youth coaches. Yeah, well, a lot of players here Pedro Leon, Codina, the goalkeeper. I mean, there's a load of them who've all ex Real Madrid, Sarabia, another one. And if they don't make it at Real Madrid, but that gives them a little bit of a a boost for the play against the, their old club and they're thinking, you know, I want to show them why they shouldn't have let me go. Certainly Pedro Leon has a lot of talent. Again, they're not playing the percentages for me. Real Madrid, that's a nothing pass. It's easily cut out. Samia coming into Ramos, who'd come a long way to meet him. Rodriguez. Sarabia. This has come a long way. He's taking enough games with Ramos. For them to know instinctively what the other one's going to do. Ronaldo. Mr. Alexis with ease. Well, he's coming away though. And again, just not fluent at the moment. Real Madrid. A bit stop start. 
Vasquez is running down a cul-de-sac and gives the ball away, Marcelo. Well, credit to Hatafi, they're more than holding Real Madrid at bay. They are, Rob, but that's a problem for me because I, I do think Real Madrid are still a little bit disjointed. They're not really playing to their full capacity at this moment in time. There's a foul there, the referee acknowledges that. Nothing comes of the advantage that Senor Montero afforded Hatafe. Yeah, Tony Cruz has got two touches, and I think the referee's felt he's won the ball, even though players have gone down. And this is Roberto Lago. isn't it, uh, Hatafi breaking from midfield. They have Samir and Sarabir and Leon. They were able to uh, to score goals just behind Alvaro Vasquez. But the emphasis, I suppose, Jerry has to be on the defence, not conceding. Yeah, I mean, I've already mentioned they don't score many goals. And you have to score goals if you want to win football matches. I like your logic. Marcelo to Hamez. It's a Real Madrid corner. It was a very good Real Madrid support. Officially, they have 500 tickets for this game, but unofficially, we're told there are 1,200 Real Madrid supporters who have made the journey. And they're staying for most of the day as well, because later on, the two B teams face each other. It's a 4 o'clock kickoff Spanish time. This goes shot. Today, if you're going to hang around, you need some mulled wine. Baran. Poor pass. Alvaro. And Tony Cruz. Marcelo leaves it to James. Cruz. Let's go. It's a salient point you make, Jerry. There's yeah. a, a lack of sharpness about it. Really is. They're Real not Madrid. sharp. They haven't been sharp in the last couple of games for me. I mean, you know, when was the last time you've seen Real Madrid concede a goal in the first minute of both halves? And that was in the Copa del Rey when they conceded to Atletico Madrid. Torres scored after 47, 48 seconds in, in the first minute. And then the second half of the first minute, I think it was 30 odd seconds, just there's no concentration. Ronaldo. Home supporters felt that Castro had been fouled on that occasion, maybe he slipped in these uh, icy conditions. Ronaldo clears the ball, the Brazilian centre half. Here's the Brazilian left back of Real Madrid, Marcelo to Ramos, to Varane. Cruz. Again, this pass, and have a look at the, the mis misplaced passes, really, with no pressure on them as well. With 20 minutes gone, what will be interesting is when our Spanish cousins throw up the number of passes completed by Real Madrid. Pedro Leon. Ball. Decent cross, Marcelo in the way. Now Cruz, Benzema to James. Now they had a check of exactly where Cristiano Ronaldo was. Gareth Bale hardly had a touch of the ball in the opening quarter of this game. A step over from the Welshman. Well, he should be conditioned to these dipping temperatures. Yeah, certainly should, but they've got to get more ball to him. Everything seems to be going down the left-hand side at the moment. They open in 20 minutes. And the passing needs to be much better than it has been. It's been very, very lacklustre for me. James bends him up, made by an excellent tackle by Ronaldo. Tries to play the high line again, this time it's successful. Well, disappointing there. The ball given away cheaply by Getafe and... Real Madrid start another attack with Tony Cross. Ronaldo. Let's go 
bit of an interesting matchup for Cristiano Ronaldo and his bodyguard today. Alexis Ruana Delgado, who has a little bit of a reputation. He was sent off against Atletico Madrid earlier in the season. He's a competitor, Rob, isn't he? He really will get stuck in. He's good in the air. That's the other thing. Normally plays as the centre half. Alexis. Carvajal. Supporting is Isco. Dips it in. Cruz. Ramos to Marcelo. Not too often you see Ancelotti so animated this early in the game. Marcelo shakes off the pass. It's a flamboyant back heel. And it's a theme of this game that the Real Madrid passes are not finding their intended targets. Yeah, that's pretty poor. And James tries to get out of the way. I think Alexis was looking for the free kick and he's got it. But, you know, a lot of these back heels, Rob, there's been at least three back heels in the first 20-odd minutes. And it's they're passing it blind. Somebody really needs to get a hold of the game by the scruff of the neck and... Get them back on track. This is a team that averaged just under four goals a game in the league. Sergio Ramos comes in and wins that one above well above Pedro Leon. Now again, this has been a feature. Every time a player jumps, Rob, and you see a hand coming up, they hold their face, they hold their ear as if they've been elbowed. When you're jumping, your arms are going to come up anyway. And only the player knows how much contact's been made. Castro to Lago. Sarabia. Rodriguez may not have any funds available, he may not be able to bring any players in or send any players out. Okay, okay yeah, Sanchez Flores, but uh, he does have footballers. Roberto Comas available to him. Yep. They're not a team who launched the ball, they like to play it around. No, Castro, Sarabia, Vasquez, Pedro well, Leon. Technically good team, isn't well, it? Technically, they, they can pass the ball about, but there's a lack of confidence. If you've only scored five league goals at home in nine league matches in the season, then there's a problem. But then that was the problem Cosman Contra had. And he left around Christmas time, and now we've got Kike. Let's go. To cover out. Hoisted in over everybody. Simple header away by Alexis. Bends him up. To Cruz. Samia. We get to get to the ball. Ronaldo. Isco. Now Ronaldo. It was Ronaldo who stops Ronaldo. Yeah. Ronaldo. <laughs> They've been solid, though, haven't they? They've got behind the ball. As you said, Rob, they're playing one up and hoping to head on the break and get support, but... The normal Real Madrid side would be so on top in this game, it's untrue, but their passing's been very poor for me. Alexis, ankle tap by Marcelo. Another soft one. Got an opportunity now, and it's Pedro Leon on the ball. He's a good deliverer of a free kick. And it's an opportunity maybe for Fetafi to cause an upset. Sanchez Flores grants permission for the centre half Velaquez and now though to cross the halfway line for the first time in the game. It's an ambitiously high line that Real Madrid have kept here. Leon, there's a spare man at the far post. Flipped in towards Alvaro. Varane tees it away quite easily. Now Hamis to Benzema. Bowled over by Castro. That was a clever free kick. It was Castro's totally just hammered him, hasn't he? The free kick was half decent. They got a spare man on the far post. The ball was put in deep. 
certainly look for the knockdown and Rafael Varan was the defender who prevented anything coming of it, but it was a good piece of play. Bail to Ramos. Now Marcelo. We have the problem. 176 completed out of 233. So there's over 60 passes have gone astray. That's just from Real Madrid. Their mental math has always been good. No place to hide at the Coliseum, Alfonso Perez. Ronaldo, Benzema. Marcelo is the obvious outlet on this near side area. Benzema. Defender oh. slips. He makes the most of that. Lays it back. It's go. Bodies thrown in the way, and the closest we've come to a goal in the opening 28 minutes. Well, at last, Real Madrid step up the game. Carvajal. Gareth Bale. Cruz. Marcelo. Godina, I thought he was the forgotten keeper. He uh, was set to leave in the winter transfer window. Surplus to requirements, but Ruben's injured, so he's back in as the number one. He could be busy here. Bale gets it on his left foot. Now bends him up, and Karina makes a tidy save. Bale again, refuses to go away. Margo prevents the corner. Bale once more. He's got the athleticism, has Gareth Bale. Well one back by Samir. Rodriguez and a good run good spurt from Hammers. Ronaldo wants it into his path Hammers was taken down I think that's gonna be our first yellow card of the game what an excellent run super run and it's Velasquez Emiliano Velasquez who's who's fouled him just outside the day here oh he has he's taken the player he's not got anywhere near the ball have a look super run though from Hammers Rodriguez acceleration 25 30 meters past two or three players and I think the last couple of minutes we've seen a little bit of an improvement from Real Madrid. A com lovely combination play between Bale and, and Benzema here. That was saved by the goalkeeper at the near post. That's a little bit more like it from Real Madrid. And if anybody needs a goal, this is also really good from... And that's the Hamez shot which was blocked. Benzema does really well here, Rob. So the last couple of minutes we've seen... A big improvement now, Ronaldo on the ball. Fancies his chances, Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, it was a, a six-man walk. He was well in the, the midst of it. Marcelo. And a spare man in Gareth Bale. Bale. Good save by Codina. Watched it all the way in. Yeah, but you can see now Gareth Bale starting to come into the game on the left hand side. We've seen a lot more better play. That's a good strike on target. The goalkeeper, Codina, has to get behind the ball. You know, they've come to life in the last five minutes, Real Madrid. Well, a chance to get hold of that remote control early. This is your Spanish fur today. Atletico at home against Granada. Four o'clock kickoff here on Sky Sports 5. Barcelona, the six o'clock start against Deportivo La Coruña, and well, in the, the warmth of Andalusia, Sevilla against Malaga, eight o'clock this evening. 
a good ball through. Ronaldo speed to it once more by Corina. Oh, he was stretched there for Edisco. He's trying to control the volley into the path of Cristiano Ronaldo, and Corina was quick to get on the end of it. But it's much, much better, to, you know, for me. I think their alarm clocks have been set for 12.30 here in Spain. With over half an hour gone, they're starting to play some decent football. Rodriguez. Pedro Leon. He's uh, perhaps the first man in Marcelo. He's looking pleading with the referee. His control let him down. Yeah, only a second league start of the season, Robin. I think he's going to be a little bit ring rusty, but he's a quality player, Pedro Leon. He had a long wait to play some games this season. The club were reticent to register him, saying that his uh, contract would take them over the limit financially. There's a lot of negotiating went on, and they uh, resolved things on his 28th birthday, the back end of November, Jerry, and uh, this is his second start back in La Liga. Yeah, his first game was against Eibar. But, uh, they need to build confidence and start getting points again. That's a poor pass. Breaks on. Sammy. Shot was pulled back by Tony Cruz. That be the first card for a, a Real Madrid player. He's done that twice now, Samir. Good burst of acceleration from deep in his own half to try and start a good counter-attack movement. Tony Cruz, we can only pull him back. You can see it here. That's all he can do. The great Ike Casillas? Surely not. Yep. It's a set piece that doesn't come off. Astro. Stopped by Gareth Bale. Got well, kick. Down a call the sack. Two players there, Isco and Gareth Bale, both doubling up on him. But you know what, if you were Kike Sanchez Flores, you'd be very happy the way things have gone against this free-scoring Real Madrid team who... Very sluggish, very slow to get going. Uh, on loan from Udinese. One of scores of players he seems to be loaned out oh, from I think half, Udinese. Half a squad's on the loan, and most of them are at Granada. Yeah, well, surprisingly, he did have a spell at Granada last year. Yeah. James to Marcelo. Isco thinking about the shot, supplying oh. the shot. And a tidy save from Codina. Better quality from Isco, Rob. That's what you need. You know, he's got a half half a chance. He's turned the defender inside out, forced a good save from Codina. That's more like it. As I say, they're just starting to, to grow in stature. Cruz. Coming back and helping out Alvaro Vasquez. There's Marcelo. This guy's arguably been the most impressive Real Madrid player so far. I think he sometimes tries to do too much because he is, you know, feeling confident and he, he's at the hub of everything. James. Oh, can Hitafi spring a surprise on the counter-attack? Alvaro plays it back. Largo joins in. 
Laura Vasquez. Nice pirouette. Where's he going? Nowhere is the answer. Gareth Bale. Ronaldo. Ames. Bale on that left foot. Rushed his shot up. Was it across? There's a shot from cross. Alexis got his body in the way of it, but starting to dominate and really cause problems both flanks. Cruz, Isco, Marcelo. Weaves his way through. Marcelo showing willing as well. They've got a corner around Madrid. Really needs to deposit a goal in the back at half time. Lunchtime. Now, Samir with Alvaro. Samir gets it on his right foot, and they're kind of matching them chance for chance. Yeah, well, though, that was a 2v2 at one stage, Rob. You know, this is the ball's being knocked down, and the attack is started by the goalkeeper. That's the header down from Sergio Ramos. And then two and two the other end, Samir coming inside in his right foot. Can't really. Get it on target, but it's better. That's all they can do. And he's looked dangerous on the counter-attack, Samir. Break get taken from the wrong place. Well, at least Hamlet has shown a little bit of uh, urgency to get on with it and get it done. He wants to keep the, the tempo high, which is what I think they should do, Real Madrid. High tempo, put them under pressure. Certainly got the better players, Real Madrid, but they have to show that and have to prove that. That's great play from Ronaldo. It is. Ronaldo makes a space. It's a corner again. He's saying it's a hard ball. It is a day when Real Madrid are going to have to dig deep. Bruce. Another deflection. Yep. Another corner. They're getting bodies in the way. Give them their credit there because this is the one Ronaldo said it's a hard ball. You can see Lago puts his right arm up. It does hit him on the arm. Nothing short this time. Throw it into the mix. Cadena comes and well, helps it on its way. Look at the pace of Rafael. Reads it well. Around. Gives it to Cruz. Side. James. Well one back. It's go. Hanging on in there, Hetafi. Benzema. Ramos gives it away. <laughs> they look exhausted, Hetafi. They did have a, a Copa del Rey game in midweek when they uh, they beat Almeria by a single goal. But they had made nine changes for today's game pretty much shoulder to shoulder on Juan Rodriguez he goes down a wee bit easy Isco wasn't happy with the awarding of the free kick but looks like it's coming up to half time Rob we're going to be nil nil which if you're a Getafe supporter or a Barcelona supporter you'd be quite happy with Pedro Leon you know of his uh Potential, so they send two across to deal with it. Marcelo closes it down. Oh, we hit it uh, across the line. Casillas with a good throw. Says James Rodriguez on his way. Yes. It's a game pass that does not find its intended target. So I think it was the hard pass that he was going for all the time. You know, there's simple passes on. Doesn't always have to be a 35 40 yard cross field pass. Rodriguez, Samir. Leon. 
is capable of uh, throwing in an early cross, but there's only one player, Alvaro, in the penalty area of Ertafi. He's past Marcelo, lays it back, and then it's a rush up from Sanabia. Well, great play here from Pedro Leon, coming inside Marcelo, and then he has the vision to cut it back to the edge of the box, and force it again. The shot's a poor one, and that's why they've only scored five goals at home this season, Rob. It's a half-decent movement from Sarabia, but you've got to hit the target from that range. James. Benzema. But he shows the desperation when Benzema, the number nine, is starting from deep. There's Marcelo, Ancelotti shuffling things around. Good cross from Bale, well led by Velázquez. Castro. Now Sanier. Well, he's done well. a lot of work. He's done brilliant to shake off Marcelo. Leon. Uncertain clearance from Carvajal, and he had two to deal with. Rob, two and two. Again, that's the second time in the first half they've been two on two, and tactically, they're playing it well, I think, Hitafi. Oh. Defensively, they've been very sound. Let's go. Benzema takes it. Cruz. Ronaldo looks up. Who wants it? Nobody. Plays in the game. Bale retrieves it. Back to Benzema. Oh, it's a tremendous shot. It's a thunderbolt from Tony Cruz. But offside. It was offside. That's some strike, and uh, there was a little bit of a shout for a penalty kick for a tackle on Gareth Bale. But when the ball came out, Tony Cruz hits it first time on the half volley, Rob, and it ro rockets off the post. Well, he's not offside, is he? When the pass was made, and it's actually the player who appeals for it. It's minimal contact, he's gone down a wee bit easy there for me. Castro's raising his leg, but what a strike from Tony Cruz. No, it's not a penalty for me. A wonderful connection from Cruz. Well, there are three adds nothing in terms of time to. A first half where Hatafi have more than contained Real Madrid. There's been the odd flutter in front of goal, but they've contained Real. If they just had a little bit more belief in front of goal themselves, uh, there could be an upset on the cards here. But half time, it's Hatafi nil, Real Madrid nil. So an early start, but no early goal for Real Madrid. Hatafi look up for this derby and in no mood to roll over. On game for me. Um, I there was one moment in the game when they had a ball and he was uh, pointing directions of where he wants his teammates to be. And I think at this, at this, at this level, we just need to get back to the basics, whereas, you know, keeping things simple and uh, trying to get back on his goal scoring sheet. Obviously, he wants to get his goal, but just focus on playing football again and, and, and uh, um, whether he scores or his teammates scores, that's the most important thing. And, and, and I think he, in his head, he just wanted to get in the goal speed. Probably forgot about uh, the rest of the game. He just wants to score goals, which is great. But uh, once a team, uh, for my opinion, once a team's playing uh, well, the goals will just flow and, and, and you'll score more goals. Well, we'll just have to wait and see at the moment. Not working out for Real Madrid or Ronaldo. If they win, they will go four points clear at the top of the table. They're certainly going to have to improve their performance. Back to Jerry Armstrong and Rob Palmer. Well, it is a case of upping the game for Real Madrid. Keeping calm, single goal may do it because Hatafi don't have a particularly good goal-scoring record. They've only managed 14 so far this season in all of her La Liga games. But defensively, they've been sound and they've held very much at bay the Galacticos of the uptown boys, Real Madrid. Yeah, I think part of that's the problem for Real Madrid is that they haven't really upped the tempo and they started very slowly, very sluggishly. Picked up momentum the last 10, 15 minutes of the game, it was much better, but really this is a side, Rob, that they should be doing a lot more and a lot better against. 
I'll tell you, no, I think if I was Carlo Ancelotti, I would settle for 1-0. And uh, an own goal. <laughs> Ancelotti and his players have to raise their game after getting knocked out of the Copa del Rey by uh, Atletico. It's like 40 feet in a row now, isn't it, to Atletico Madrid? Yeah. Ancelotti has the worst record of any Real coach against Atletico. Many accolades in his career, but that's one that's going to count against him in the years to come. Well, the thing is, this is the best Atletico Madrid team we've seen for, what, 20-odd years. You know, 20-odd years ago, they won the double, Atletico Madrid, but uh, the fact that they won the league last year shows you they're a force to be reckoned with. And James Rodriguez on this free kick. James with a cross, Ronaldo. He was offside, the flag was up, but like midweek in the Copa del Rey, he's just not connecting. Well, let's have a look at it. Well, he is, he's offside. He's not the only one, by the way. Well, Ancelotti's expression never changes, whether they're lifting the uh, European Cup or struggling against one of the smaller sides in La Liga. Always a picture of concentration. He has selected what is his uh, strongest available side today. There's no case of him uh, rotating or resting players. So again, I've just said about Isco trying to do a little bit too much at times, Rob. And he's done well initially. He's trying to do a little bit of skill, a back turn, and he, he's got a simple pass to Tony Cruz. I think they're making it difficult for themselves. A bit too over elaborate. Here's Largo. digging in there's the hard ball again Rob he's still doing the same things for me simple pass on and he goes for the hard pass both coaches asking the whole of the bench to go through a warm-up exercise if you've just tuned in when we kicked off in this game there was a little snow flurry See from the centre of Madrid the, uh, the snow on the mountains just outside of the capital. We're, uh, Ten miles away from the Bernabeu and the financial district. This is out in the suburbs. New club, new stadium. Well, newish stadium opened in 1998. Ten years before that, uh, Hatafi were a, an amateur side. So it's been quite a rise up the leagues for them. job in setting his new players up for this game is Gareth Bell who's been contained for most of the match Bell plays one in Oof. that's a great ball it's a really good ball an immaculate interception well he cuts inside Roberto Lago and whips one into the near post and Naldo's quite happy just to stick it away that could have been the old goal I was talking about Rob him out to Cruz. Isco meets it to Benzema. Back to Isco. Back to Benzema. It's the solid chest of uh, Naldo. Then well, Hatafi getting bodies behind the ball and a 4-5-1 formation, which is frustrating Real Madrid at the moment. Samia. Could have made the pass through two three on this left hand side of the pitch as they attacked. And there's to Cristiano Ronaldo. They're paying the money to come and see the last section of the Atafi fans greeting him with outrageous boos. Well, double cover there in this right hand corner pocket. Just no room. He's done some damage against Hatafi over the years, Cristiano Ronaldo. He's only played eight games against him, and in those eight games, he's got 13 goals. Well, you wouldn't rule out him scoring another goal today. Well, he's the happier of the two coaches, Kiki Sanchez Flores. Oh, 
Alex Rodriguez. Isco. It's inside, tells Marcelo to get out of the way. Tries to find that shooting space, still can't get it. Marcelo joins the party. Ronaldo still has a bit of work to do. The tap here convincing they've gone out of play to float back in. Cruz's shot is bot. Madrid chipping away at head happy here. Ronaldo, brilliant take. Defended as well. And uh, Balakez comes away with the ball. <laughs> They're getting closer, but still no cigar. And Velasquez done well at the far post, but my goodness. They've reached to the uh, quarter-finals of the Copa del Rey, Villarreal, and their opponents in the, uh, the next stage. And then they will play the winners of Barcelona or Atletico Madrid if they get to the semi-finals. The achievement would be if they could get something off Real Madrid. And it's the quarter-finals in the same week. Man down. If we is uh, going to have to... That was off the ball. I don't yeah. know what happened there, Rob. Sarabia went down and is rolling around in agony. Thank you. Did he get clipped from behind, Sarabia? Let's have a look, see. It's not this incident. That's the free kick. But earlier, I think he was running towards goal. And Sarabia is another player who learned his trade at Real Madrid. And he made one appearance in the senior side against Orzair in the, uh, the Champions League five years ago. And it's bent him up. Medina keeps him out yet again. Angles and anticipation of the keeper was spot on. Absolutely, great play there, good movement from Benzema. Lovely early ball as well, but the excellent goalkeeper. Again, Cardina makes a big save. Tavis. Ronaldo, one or two, just strolling around in the famous all-white strip of Real Madrid. Day. Temperatures dipping to zero where they need to rely on the work ethic. There was a late challenge on Hamez, but referee, I think he's trying to keep play going. That's a poor challenge from Samir. What's this? Right down the back of his heel, Rob. And he worked hard, Hamez, to get that one on Isco. This is the pass. What's the pass here? Super pass from Hamez. A great strike from Benzema and a wonderful save from Corina. Marcelo. It's another poor pass, Rob. It's a straightforward ball he needs to give there, and he makes a mess of it. Once more of Benzema. There's the run. Tell me what, Jerry, just before Christmas, they did manage to hold Barcelona to a scoreless draw here. Yeah. So they have the blueprints. It's a good time, I think, to play Real Madrid when you've not won in your last four games. the Cosmin Contra. It's very rare for a coach to leave a club in Spain where he hasn't been sacked, but uh, Contra was offered uh, quite a lucrative deal to go to China and take the place of Sven Goran Eriksson. Well, the club's blessing. There is talk of him possibly coming back when his uh, deal in China comes to an end in 2017. Meanwhile, Kike Sanchez Flores has a, a new two-and-a-half-year deal the intention is to keep them in the top flight. There's a player warmed up, stripped off Hinestrosa for Getafe Rob down on the touchline. And he looks like he's going to be the first substitution. There he is, he's actually got a touch. There's a, a young Colombian left winger, Freddie Hinestrosa. Yeah. Good turn of pace, good technique. Who's 
going to be sacrificed is uh, Sarabia, who looks exhausted. the same for Hattafi, just a change of personnel. Gareth Bale. The ball from Bale. Nice take by James, but I think at best, as you say, Jerry, it needs a deflection to deceive the goalkeeper. Everything's yep. been a little bit too straightforward. Yeah. Well, it's gone through a player's leg, so he was a little bit unsighted. Jordi Cordin, but he's done everything. He's been asked of him, the goalkeeper. And as long as they can keep the shots from outside the box and make it difficult for Real Madrid, that's all you can ask. Zamir. Is Varane. Cruz. To Isco. Good skill. Yes. Take him down. Bobby. Zamir. Isco has been vibrant. Ronaldo has been blotted out of the game. Bale has been largely anonymous. Ames, Bale, strange pass, easy for Velakes to deal with. Ronaldo. This is effectively a half-term report, isn't it, as we reach the turning point of the season after today's games. And at this point in this game, the report reads for Real Madrid in this game must do better. Is calling. I think they're being very generous, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a, an appeal for handball there. The referee communicates with his assistant, and together they decide that uh, that must have been a deliberate handball. That's what the law says. Well, I think they point the finger at Diego Castro. Let's have a look, see. There's the shot. Well, he turned his back on it. Okay, yeah, he deliberated for. Uh, Appear to be a couple of seconds, and yeah, this is a both, free kick in both a, a hands very dangerous situation. Both hands are up there, Rob. And Ronaldo asked for one in the first couple of minutes uh, of the first half, and there was an argument then. But this one, there's even more of an argument. It's a lot more dangerous position. Uh, Gareth Bale's over there, Cristiano Ronaldo's there. Yeah, the to see exactly where the wall is going to be placed before they decide between them who is going to deliver it. Hit the target, that's the key. It's Bale this time. Your command isn't met, Jerry. First criteria of free kicks. Hit the target. I have to say, must do a lot, lot better, Rob. Because disappointing the last two or three games, Real Madrid, they've not really had the same fire that they started the season off with. That's a lot of considering change, of course, it was around the 60 minute mark, but managers like to mix things up. I suppose uh, if you're going to bring a bit of panache, you may have Heze. And there's Chicharito, is uh, another option. They need goals. Hesse would be my first choice, Rob. Isco. Now Carvajal. Oh, makes his move. Carvajal with a poor pass. Varane. Oh, turns into trouble. trouble. There's Freddy in a strozer. This is Samir. He's dived. I think his legs just gave That's way. Awful. He's covered some kilometres this afternoon, I think. He just felt he got to the finishing line then. What's that? It's got to be a yellow card, isn't it? For pulling him on the shoulder. Hamas. But he questions it, but it. He... You see his right arm coming out as the player goes past Rob. He was behind him and he just grabs him there. And Estrosa, of course, he responds by diving. <laughs> They've been pals as well, of course, two uh, Colombian internationals know each other very well. 
roughly the same age as well. stands his ground and stops in his throws are at first base. I just think Real Madrid are making things so much more difficult for themselves. It's one of those days where a Real Madrid scarf isn't just a fashion accessory. Support is wrapped up this. It's a necessity. <laughs> it is a necessity. Early kickoff. Temperatures dipping. Drillion dances through the challenges. Ran into a coldy sack though. Bale. Ronaldo. Needs to provide something special. Cuts the ball back. It's not a bad ball at all. It's go across to Hamis. Hamis to Bentima. Ronaldo coming into the far post. Full steam ahead. Bentima. Nice girl. Brilliant goal. How they needed that. It's Ronaldo to the rescue for Real Madrid. Yeah, but Rob, you said early in the first half, you needed a little deflection in the right place. Benzema does well, but when he does try to cut the ball back, it takes a deflection off the defender. And Ronaldo, who had started at the far post, drifts into the near post and he picks one off. 27 goals in the league. And it's a massive, massive goal for Real Madrid. Have a look. Good ball in initially from Ronaldo. Control passing from Isco and then James to Benzema and he does really well here cuts along the byline tries to play it and it takes a deflection off the keeper and falls into the path of Cristiano Ronaldo and that's your bit of good fortune well, he took it well Cristiano Ronaldo generally scores against his traffic nine games against them 14 goals against them and away from home again is now at set for one Yet another record, the most away goals ever for a Real Madrid player. That's his 88th goal away from home. One more than the legendary Raul. And he was 13 goals in eight games against Getafe before this match. is now 14. We did say, do not discount Ronaldo scoring against him today. Well, do Getafe have a goal in them? So before, the, they may be capable of keeping it at nil now. They're a shot shy team. Uh, Lago's getting booked for the challenge on Carvajal. It was a late challenge, Roberto Lago. Scored two in the previous six matches. Well, we know what they're capable of, and they haven't delivered in the first half apart from about 10 or 12 minutes. And it's they've been blowing really hot and cold, having a really hot and cold in this game. But they've got the goal now, and it's down to hit Taffy. Do you want to just sit back and lose 1 0, or are you going to take a gamble and, and try and get an equalizer? That will leave them open a little bit more to the pace and power on the counter attack. Here's Carvajal. Oh, wow, to bail. It's the traveling Real Madrid supporters who are making the more noise now. Marcelo fires it at Ronaldo. And there's a nice take by Cristiano Ronaldo, Jerry, but it was a, an excellent example of having to really dig deep and effort from Ronaldo. He, he ran a good 35, 40 yards to come in from the wing to finish that off. He did, he started off in the halfway line here, just inside the opposition half, and he turned and he had a run and burst of pace, but then he had the head up and he looked and picked picked out a player on the edge of the box, and again, Isco and Cole all contributed. 
to the final ball to Benzema, who did brilliant yeah, along the byline. Gutsy work from Karim Benzema, yeah. wasn't it? People look oh. at the, the superstars of Real Madrid, but that was uh, the work ethic of the Frenchman and the World Player of the Year. I, I want him to score, Benzema, because he's on a bit of a drought, not since November has he scored in the league, and I really do. That's not a free kick. That's, how can that be a free kick? You know, I'm watching these every week now. He's jumped, he's won the ball. Tell me what he's done wrong. He's got higher than the opposite player, Lago. He's won the ball in the air. He's not hit him with his elbow. Can't see how that can be given as a free kick. That's it. Bruce Lago will carry on. Pedro Leon fires it towards the penalty area. It's a it's break water, isn't it? Yeah. Amez. Great cross. Bale. Oh, oh toe pokes him in. With ease in the space of just uh, three or four minutes, Real Madrid have turned this game around. Well, we've seen two pieces of quality in the last three or four minutes, Rob, and it's resulted in two goals. It just shows you when they want to lift the tempo and put it to the standards that they're normally used to. Brilliant on the counter-attack, still a lot of work to be done. Super ball in, left foot here, Hamas, and look at Gareth Bale. That's nonchalant, sees the keeper coming across. Hamas' pass is excellent, and Gareth Bale's pace and athleticism gets him ahead of his marker. Great goal, wonderful goal. Decent return in recent weeks for Gareth Bale. That's his sixth goal in the last nine matches for the World Player of the Year. Still the retail tabloid tells that he might be leaving Real Madrid. Fantasy stuff. Well, when he scores goals like that, he's got great ability. But they need to leave him alone, stop putting him under pressure about passing the ball and what have you. You know, I'm not being funny, the one who has shots more than anybody is Cristiano Ronaldo, but nobody would ever criticise him. There's Isco. Ronaldo. So strong they're tapping, they're not going to collapse now, are they? Marcelo. Carvajal. Let's go. So the adrenaline was flying for Tapi while they were holding Real Madrid for 63 minutes of this game. But now. The legs must feel very, very heavy, chasing the ball around. I'm sure no signs of fatigue, despite most of these players, nine of the starting 11. Uh, involved in an energy sapping cup and array game against Atletico midweek. It's a massive three points this Rob as well. And Carlo Ancelotti can breathe the sigh of relief, he's got that two-goal cushion. And they are in cruise control now. Real well, Madrid, remember, are a point ahead of Barcelona, who play later today. If they win four points ahead, they will be confirmed as the winter champions. Right, no accolades for that. Yena Stroza. Just well, runs into trouble. And then test the alertness of Inke Casillas. He's got a good left foot, foot uh, Freddy Yena Stroza, and he's coming inside here past Tony Cruz. And not oh, a bad effort. because he was the first player to receive a yellow card in this game. He has to be careful, Emiliano, he's only 20 years old, young, developing central defender, who's not bad. Well, he's heading for a caution because that yellow card is his 
fifth of the season. This is the player who uh, has a pair at club. He's been loaned here from the other big Madrid side, Atletico Madrid. Free kick. And another red alert position. Well, it's definitely Ronaldo territory, this one. One. It's a stupid challenge, really, isn't it, from Freddy Hennes Rosa? Well, you'll want at least four in the wall, I would think. And Jordi Godin. Well, Bale got the last pot shot from the free kick. No doubting this one is going to be Cristiano Ronaldo's. That familiar pose. A run up. And the bouncing oh. ball deceived the keeper. This is very close to the far post. Ronaldo knew it. Let's see what the wall does. He whips it right over. The goalkeeper's wrong footed as well. Jordi Cordina is coming across, and that is inches wide of the far post. They've dug in and it has taken the world player of the year, Cristiano Ronaldo, and the world's costliest player, Gareth Bale, to be the difference today. Yeah, well, Kiggy's decided he wants to make another substitution as well, and it's going to make that much of a difference for young Yoda. He's coming on for Pedro Leon. I hope the force is strong with this one. Never a fan of Star Trek, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> it's Karim Yoda who's coming on. He's a young man from the Ivory Coast. He's uh, the joint leading scorer with four goals. It'd be fair to say he's, he's one of those who's uh, very much an impact player. He needs to make some impact to change the course of this game. It's not Star Trek, Robert's Return of the Jedi. I knew yeah, that, Jerry. Right. Right. Oh, Sunday morning back. irony. <laughs> it's too early for us. <laughs> It's taken the flares a little while to get going, but uh, they've come good, Real Madrid. And they're looking to add to the two goals. We've said they average in just under four goals per game in the league. But they've been disappointed in the last two or three performances. And now they've got themselves a two-goal cushion. They're in complete control. Alexis generally picks up a yellow card in this fixture. And he's no stranger to challenges like that, Alexis. He's a, he a, a centre half normally, but he's playing right back and he's got a reputation. He's not up there with them, Sergio Ramos, when it comes to the yellow cards and setting off, but he's he's certainly a, a contender. Yeah, I think he's 15 red cards behind Sergio Ramos actually. <laughs> Everybody's 15 red cards behind Sergio Ramos. Runs into trouble. Feet from Benzema. And this layoff from Marcelo. Isco is ahead of Benzema, ahead of Bale, and a nice take by Cordina. Well, everybody's hungry to get forward now. The movement's much better, the pass is much better. But it's all because they've got themselves a goal and I think broke the stubborn resistance now. There's a break on. It's Yoda. There is Yoda. Flies past Ramos, who knew exactly what he was doing, guarding him into a, a channel. Just a little bit too much purchase on that pass from Isco. But 
it's good if you can win ugly away from home. I think Ancelotti will accept that. I think it's a difficult fixture. It's a derby game. It's an early morning kickoff. But if you're the offer him 2 0 with 15 minutes to go, you're going to snap your hand off. 45 points in the first half of the season is a very decent return for Real Madrid. And we still have a, an extra game to play, of course. They and Sevilla have a catch up match because uh, Real were away in Morocco for the uh, FIFA World Club final. Well done, Yoda. He's won the free kick. Tony Cross. So I didn't touch him that much, but Sammy Gadira, good to see him back again. Another one who's been out injured and just gradually getting back to fitness. There's Yoda to Castro. It was a big opportunity here. Takes on the whole of the Real Madrid defence. Off oh, on him, there's a slip. A less honest player. May well have gone down there, Jerry. And Absolutely. The and do you know what? Yoda's power and pace has unsettled him, really has. As Isco tries to create another attack for Real Madrid. And Samir. It's been an exhaustive lunchtime game, this for Etafe. Time to change for Real. They'll bring on. Kadira, who is well suited to a game like this. I'll tell you what, that's not, that's not, do you know what, Avila went down and it had to win that was a loose challenge, that was yeah. a penalty. Carver Howell dived in. Seen him given for a lot less. And it's that old debate, isn't it? Does a player have to throw himself to the floor to win a penalty? He stayed on his feet. So that doesn't prevent the referee from giving it, as maybe he should have done. This goes taken off. Job well done for the creative midfield player. And it's the sturdier German Kadira who will come on and keep things very tight well, and organised in midfield. That's it, they've got a two goal cushion. They're not really in too much trouble, or they weren't before Yoda came on. And uh, they're going to hang on to what they've got. Hamas. There's Hamas. Tops the shoulder, makes ground. Gives it to Kadira. First touch for Kadira. 1 2 with Marcelo. cherries for Cristiano Ronaldo he was asking for it about five seconds earlier and uh, Marcelo had the ball and he didn't put it into him and he was saying you know put it in here and then it went wide and a fabulous cross from James and well he don't miss chances like that but it's all about the quality of the ball for me from the left hand side have a look at this James he's put one in for Gareth Bale and that is an absolute gem super ball Beats the centre half, all ends up, he's nothing he can do about it, clears him. Ronaldo coming in, a simple header for him. Emiliano Velasquez is the player that just clears his head. But that's that's the icing on the cake, Rob, now 3-0. 28 goals in the league for Ronaldo. 36 in all competitions and marks the week where he's been crowned the world's best player for a, a third time. The crown doesn't appear to be slipping. No, he's a goal machine. People will look at the result and say, oh, comfortable victory for Real Madrid. If you had to watch the first half, you wouldn't have thought that. Well, come on, my Real Madrid are going to be uh, top at the turn. It's a four o'clock start. So Atletico against <laughs> Granada. Girona might be in the top division next season. It's Deportivo against Barcelona. Six o'clock kickoff. And uh, down in Andalusia, Sevilla against Malaga. Sevilla, one of those teams jostling for a, a top four position. Well, I was just saying earlier, Rob, the fact that they're out of the Copa del Rey, the, the holders Real Madrid, means they're going to have a lot more time midweek preparation. Gives them a chance to get a lot of the other players fit. It's good to see as well. Ilyara Mendy looking to get on and get a, a few minutes 
play time. It's Nacho as well, isn't it? Who's Nacho, a, another one. Strips, who's going to get uh, a 10 minute stretch of the legs. Yeah, why not? Rest some legs. Because the next midweek fixture they've got is the Sevilla match. That's the other game in hand they've got, Rob. That's the 4th, February the 4th, Wednesday. Davy as well, a special moment for Alex Philippe, the number 36 of uh, the Atafi. Maybe still attached to the game. Late challenge from Alexis, Rob. Did the referee see that? Yeah, he did. And he's probably stuck down I tell you. This is not a happy man, and he wants further punishment for Alexis, who has committed a series of fouls in the second half. Oh, we're going old school here, Jerry. Maybe this, the fourth official's board is frozen. <laughs> Tony Cruz. Cruz has put in some yards this afternoon. 82% passing accuracy, which is well above the team's average today. Almost a 10k run. And Nasia Ilomende, who's been on the fringes of the team this season. It's so a valuable playing time. I might say it was cruise control for Tony, but Nacho on now for Marcelo. It's just to give them a run out. Well, not bad, is it, when he can bring on a Spanish international? Meanwhile, making his uh, La Liga debut will be midfielder Alex Philip. He's only played in the uh, Copa del Rey this season. And uh, just a, a chance for. K. Sanchez Freud to give one of his younger players a bit of experience, and I suppose a game never to be begotten. How many games he's going to play against Real Madrid in his career? But he comes on with a game lost, and has uh, seven and a half minutes or so. Ilaramendi to Ferran. It's a week's rest, of course, for. Real Madrid before they start the fixtures again. As I'm sure you know in Spain, you play the same teams in the same succession first half and second half of the season. So they head to Cordoba next week, who they beat on the opening night of the season. And then it's Real Sociedad and Atletico Madrid, teams they lost back to back against when there was a so called crisis at the club yeah. back in uh, early September. Then they went on a run of 22 successive wins, and it does appear they're back in their successful stride again today as they had to dig deep. The other thing that works for Real Madrid is the fact that Barcelona and Atletico Madrid have drawn against each other in the quarterfinals of the Copa del Rey over two legs, Rob. So there's two games that will take an awful lot out of the two main contenders. That's a good ball. Can they get a goal? from Carvajal and oh. Felipe oh. one of those where you cannot quite believe your eyes that Alvaro hasn't scored it's a thunder of disbelief for the Atafi striker 
Oh, I think he hits the post here. Felipe does well. And there it is. Off the post, Rob. It's an open goal for me. And Alvaro should have scored. It's one of those centre forwards. I'm sure the Swansea fans will vouch to. That's a tremendous work ethic, but doesn't have a particularly good goal scoring ratio. He lost the flight of that. This will be in his 703rd game for Ike Casillas, his 450th win as a run of player. Well, it's not a bad record to have, and he's won everything in football, including the World Cup. He's uh, trying to hang him in there for his 11th clean sheet in the last 15 matches. And Real Madrid keep it tight. Good little test of their defensive resolve here. Decent cross, good header away from Iramende. Philippe, and Iramende is there again. Do you know what, the subs have done well since they've come on. You know, I look at Philippe and I look at Yoda and they've really contributed here. Henestrosa, it's like a handful too. Wishing for him, Jerry, though, of course, he created the game turning goal. Certainly did. He's had two or three really magical moments, and, but not really had too much of himself. He's had one shot that the keeper made an excellent save. That pass from James through the middle, and he had it first time. That probably the best save of the match for Codina, Jordi Codina. But uh, he could do with the goal for his confidence, and he, he certainly deserves one. Well, the flex, the ball is flying high for. Real Madrid, who are going to put a four-point distance between themselves and Barcelona, who we bring you later on today. Yoda's cross, away by Varane. Target for Real Madrid is to get through the next couple of minutes without conceding a goal. Yoda again, and Paul Clare, he was starting from an offside position. Yeah. Funny they go 1-0 down, 2-0 down, and... 3-0 done and all of a sudden they want to play and look at the many players have got in the box one two three four five in the box and you've got Yoda outside crossing from one side and Benestros at the other side it's been worth getting up early for those traveling Real Madrid supporters making the way from the, uh, the center of town so this is their earliest kickoff in five years More part of the global game these days isn't it suppose all the viewers in Asia will be enjoying it. It'll be prime time TV for them. Unfortunately, Hatavi haven't had Real Madrid for breakfast. Good play, Sami Kadira. Work some space. Gets it through. It's a bit of sympathy for the keeper Kadina. He made some big saves in the first half, keeping it very tight, but it all changed in the 63rd minute. CBC the score is today. Cristiano Bale and Cristiano Ronaldo again. Oh, Still trying to get a hat trick. Man who holds the record for La Liga hat tricks. You can see Ronaldo on this near side of the field. He wants the ball, he wants to take it home. That's a strong challenge on Gareth Bale. He's not accepting any apologies, Gareth Bale. That was the centre half, Velasquez, Emiliano Velasquez, the 20 year old. That looks uh, in trouble a bit. Meanwhile, the uh, for his assistant. This is uh, the two-minute board, cardboard. Oh, retro, the officials. Still on the ground. 
Now it's Bale. He got up initially, but he's going to lock down again. Free signal he's going to have. Two minutes of the game. This is uh, what bothered Bell so much. Well, you can see what's happening. He's cleared the ball with his left foot, but watch his right foot. He's carried right through the back of Gareth Bale. That's a bad challenge. Did rattle him in more ways than one. Well, for Real Madrid at the moment, there are no midweek distractions. Yeah. Gareth Bale hobbles off, but as you mentioned before, he's a player who has. Tremendous physique, but uh, he looks trouble there. It's calf, I think it's caught him with the calf muscle, and you get a, you'll get a bit of bruising and a bit of bleeding. And again, three or four days from now, he should be okay. But uh, as long as it's not, I'm look, they're looking down at his ankle. As long as they're not ankle looking with damage. Some nervous people at the insurance company of the uh, the man who cost roughly a hundred million euros. Benzema digs in, maybe one final chance for a fourth Real Madrid goal. Just one of those Velasquez was he in that squad that played the Champions League final and uh, was that a bit of payback? The bail will hobble back on. Well, it's confirmed Real Madrid are the winter champions and it's up to the other teams in La Liga to catch them up over the second half of the season. They've cruised past Hetafi by three goals to nil. And Real Madrid are setting the pace in La Liga. It's up to the others to catch them. 3-0, the final score. Well, it took a while for them to get going, but once they did, Real Madrid absolutely ruthless. Two more for Ronaldo. His 27th and 28th league goals of the season. One more for Gareth Bale. In the end, it was a very dominant second half. And that means Real Madrid, four points clear of Barcelona at the halfway stage. They now have two wins after uh, Valencia ended their 20th.